guys happy meal prep day so i need to do a little bit of pre-prep before i jump into the recipes so we have a rotisserie chicken here we're going to break down <clears throat> into i'll do dark meat and light meat some green beans i want to you know clean up the ends and and clean those up i have some carrots and celery that i want to get cleaned up and put into like celery sticks and carrot sticks for lunches or for i'm sorry for snacks um i'm going to do a veggie mix and so I want to, and I got that from Nikki Gets Fit. Thank you guys, whoever it was that told me about her channel, because I am loving all of her content so much. And one thing she makes is a veggie mix to kind of get more veggies in throughout the week. So I'm going to kind of replicate that. Also need a red, bep, red, a red bell pepper cut up for one of the recipes. I'm going to do some cauliflower mash. So I'm going to go ahead and get this um, chopped up and ready to go into the pot to steam. Some zucchini I need to cut up for the for, through the veggie mix and then some green onions I need for one of my recipes. So I'm going to go ahead and do this first and then we'll cut over to the recipes. I'm not going to bore you with all the cutting and chopping and all of that. <laughs> we'll go ahead and do all that first and then we'll jump into the recipes. Alrighty, so we got all the prep done. So this is the white meat. That's what I'll be using for this meal prep. I put the onions separately from the veggie mix because I'm going to use like half of them for the veggie mix and then half of them just to have for on hand for salads and whatnot. So we'll be cooking this up with a little bit of seasoning. Then I have my green beans ready to go in the air fryer to go with one of my meals. The bell pepper is going to be for the chicken fried cauliflower rice. We have some carrots and celery just to put in baggies to have for grab and go snacks. Green onions will be for the chicken fried cauliflower rice. So we got this part all done. This part takes the longest. Now we'll go ahead and start doing the rest of the meal prep. Okay, thank you for those of you that told me which video to watch of Nikki Gets Fit with her veggie mix because I actually had no idea that she cooked her veggie mix. So thank you, thank you, Lisa. And then one other person mentioned the name of the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some cooking spray. We're gonna use some, what seasoning should we use? I think I'm gonna do some of the buttery steakhouse from Kinder's and then the one that's the salt, pepper, garlic. The one that's called the blend, which I think is over there on the counter. I'll use this one. So I'm just gonna put this entire thing in mix, which of course is gonna cook down quite a bit when we cook it. I'm gonna do that and then do about half of the red onion. And I'm just gonna add some seasoning and I'll just keep cooking this until it is nice and softened and I'll put it back in that container and we'll be good to go. And I can use this for bowls, for salads, for eggs, all kinds of things. And I really love the idea of doing this every single week. Um, this buttery steakhouse, highly recommend for eggs, poultry, veggies. I've used it for all those things. veggie mix is all done. This smelled so good while it was cooking. I cannot wait to use this and utilize it. So I am so glad I found this because I told you guys I have got to get more veggies in. So, so excited. Let me know if you guys make something like this. Tell me what you throw it in, what kind of things you throw it in and how you utilize it throughout the week. Here's my cauliflower. So I have a basket in here as a steamer basket, have about a cup of water. We're going to bring that to a boil. Then we'll put the lid on it and we're going to let that cook until the cauliflower all is nice and really soft. So we can throw it in the blender to make the cauliflower mash. For the chicken and gravy recipe, I saw this on Instagram and literally it's just a can of cream of chicken soup. I use a healthy request because it is less points one packet of the Lipton's Recipe Secrets Onion Soup Mix. So we're gonna mix these together. In the Instagram reel that I saw, they actually did it in the crock pot because they used raw chicken. But since I'm gonna be using the rotisserie chicken, I am just going to put it all in a pot and just heat it up and just kind of let it simmer for a while. I'm sure it's probably makes it really good letting it cook for four hours in a crock pot. But I think if I just let this simmer for like 30 minutes or so, I think it'll be it'll be fine. I think we'll get the same effect. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here and I think I'm gonna let it um, kind of cook for a little bit before I add in the chicken. I'm gonna let this kind of cook down a little bit, get a little bit more watery. And then I'm gonna add in the chicken and then we'll go ahead and let this cook for a while. And then this is what the cauliflower mash is gonna go with. Now to go along with this meal prep, 
I'm gonna do some green beans. Please don't mind. I can. That's the only thing I don't like about these silicone mats is they're really hard to clean. I can't get that stuff off. But I'm gonna put this in my air fryer. I'm gonna spray it with some cooking spray. Add some of the Kinder's, um, the blend, the salt, pepper, garlic. We're gonna put these in there for 400 for 10 minutes. And this will be the side dish to the cauliflower mash with the chicken and gravy. Now I did add one cup of water to this and I'm just mixing it up. And now we're gonna add in some chopped up chicken. I'm gonna turn this down to simmer and go ahead and let it simmer and for about probably about 30 minutes or until I'm done with meal prep. I think I'm just gonna let that simmer until I'm almost completely done. We're gonna do the cauliflower mesh. I make this kind of different every time I make it, but we have our steamed cauliflower here. Have my big blender cup out. This is the one I don't like to pull out for my smoothies because it's just so big, but my other one died. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of the, I can't believe it's not butter, light. And then we're going to add in some plain non-fat Greek yogurt. I kind of use this in place of the either sour cream or um, cream cheese that sometimes people put into their um, mashed potatoes and stuff. So I'm going to do about, I don't know, three quarters of that container. So that container is five ounces, so roughly three ounces, three and a half ounces. I'm going to add some of this Kinder's salt, pepper, garlic, and then I forgot to pick out my milk. So let me go grab my milk. So I usually use unsweetened almond milk, but I already have this open and I'm really loving this Fairlife um, fat-free milk. So I'm gonna start with a quarter cup, put a quarter cup in there, and I'll just add more as I need to and just keep track of how much I end up using. So it usually ends up being however much that this cauliflower, this cauliflower was really green, so it took a lot to steam it. I had to steam it for a really long time. You can still kind of see how green it is. So we're gonna start with this and we'll see how this plays out. Quarter cup was perfect. I can already tell that this consistency is just perfect. I like mine kind of thick, so it's more like mashed potatoes. Uh, you can also add like minced garlic to it. It does add more of a garlicky, garlicky flavor, but the Kinders I really like. So here's that. So let me go ahead and put this in the meal prep containers so I can show you how I'm putting all this together. Here are my finished um, chicken and gravy with my air fried green beans. Oh my gosh, these are so good. I do have one serving left of the gravy. I used that entire cauliflower mash and I just split it between two. This is probably gonna be my dinner and maybe like one day for lunch and then one day for dinner. So I just, I'll use this for, I don't know, maybe I'll just toss it on some cauliflower rice or something, but I did weigh out this whole thing and divide it by three. So it's three equal servings. And I just kind of spread it out on top of the cauliflower mash. And then we have our air fried green beans. So this will be amazing. I'll have the points here on the screen. I don't think I said that for the other things, but you will see um, that I always put all the points on the screen for everything. Next up, we're gonna do our chicken fried cauliflower rice. And I'll tell you guys, if you make this right, you cannot tell it's cauliflower rice. At least I can't because I eat a cauliflower rice. So I'll take that back. I can't notice the difference. I think it tastes amazing. So you just need some chicken. So I just have some of that rotisserie chicken. We have our cauliflower rice. I've already um, put it in the microwave for about four minutes. So it's like mostly cooked through and not frozen. We have our mixed vegetables here, which I could have just used that veggie mix, but I already had this ready to go and already thawed out. And then I use liquid aminos in place of soy sauce, as you know. So we're gonna use about two tablespoons of that. And then to top it off when we're all the way done, we'll add the sesame oil. Highly, highly, highly recommend that you don't skip the sesame oil. And I do about two teaspoons of that for this recipe because this is gonna make two servings. I do a lot, I do pretty large servings. And then I'm also gonna add in a little bit of sriracha, but that's a personal choice because I do like the spiciness. I feel like the key to really getting this to taste less cauliflowery, that's a word, <laughs> is the cooking of the cauliflower rice. So you really have to cook it down really well. Um, this actually may actually end up being three servings. I think this is a little bit bigger bag of cauliflower rice than I normally use. I normally use the 12 ounce bags from um, Kroger, but this is a 16 ounce bag from Costco. So actually I think I'll do three servings, but Anywho, I like to cook this in some cooking spray with a little bit of the Kinder's salt, pepper, garlic. And what I do is I cook this on like a medium heat until the cauliflower rice gets a little bit crispy. And I just keep cooking it, cooking it, cooking it until that point and it really makes the cauliflower rice dry out and it has more of the texture of regular rice. So just be patient as I cook it on medium heat. 
just keep kind of stirring it. When it starts getting a little bit crispy, turn it and then just keep doing that until it comes out and it feels a lot um, drier and just like I said, just kind of replicates regular rice. So that's how I recommend doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I have it on number six on my stove and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cook it before we add anything else in. Alrighty, so mine's perfect. So you wanna add in about, I don't know, one to two tablespoons of soy sauce, liquid aminos, coconut aminos, whatever you like to use. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of sriracha. I'm gonna grab the chicken and the mixed vegetables. I just dice up my chicken. Rotisserie chicken is really good for this, or you can just cook up some chicken. I do the whole bag of veggies because this whole meal is really about getting all your veggies in. And at this point, you may need to add in more liquid aminos or soy sauce, whatever one you're using. And some people add an egg to this. I personally don't like the taste of the scrambled egg in this. It's just my personal opinion, um, but just a quick choice, but most people will add an egg. And if you do, sorry, it's probably really loud. Okay. If you do add an egg, you just kind of break open the center here, put your egg inside there and just kind of scramble it up. Now I'm gonna cook this around just until the chicken and the veggies get a little bit softened up and crispy with the chicken. And then I'm gonna add in my sesame oil. Now I'm gonna add in a full tablespoon since this is gonna be more like three servings. We're gonna do a full tablespoon of this. And the reason why I like to do it at the end is because it, it's really good It's like a finishing sauce. You just get that nice sesame oil kind of taste to it. It just, it just tastes really, really good. And we're gonna top this with some sugar-free sweet chili sauce, and I'll show you that when we put them in the meal prep container. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this out on my scale like I normally do. I think I'm gonna divide it by three, because I think we'll have three servings here, and then I'll show you how I kind of top everything off. Now we're gonna top this off with some of this sugar-free sweet chili sauce. It is zero points, it's only five calories, and it's zero points for a tablespoon, which is about what I kind of put on here. Yes, I know I should be measuring it out, but I have this stuff a lot. So I think it's actually zero points for even two tablespoons. And then we're also gonna top it off with some fresh green onion. It really tastes best if it's not cooked in with the rest of it. It just kind of has a nice fresh taste. I love green onion with these types of recipes. And we are done. Here is our chicken fried cauliflower rice. Lots and lots and lots of veggies, good protein with the chicken. It's just a really good meal. Lots of fiber with all those veggies. And it's really nice for meal prep. It heats up really, really well. Um, I'll have this for lunch and for dinner, but it's all ready to go. Grab it, throw it in the microwave, and we have either dinner or we have lunch. Meal prep is done. Let me snap a little picture here. So we have our chicken and gravy with green beans. I will have the Instagram link down below. It's like Teresa, AKA something. I'll have her Instagram link down below where I got this. We have our Nikki Gets Fit uh, veggie mix. We have our cauliflower rice, the chicken fried cauliflower rice. I will put the recipe down below. I think it's from Kirby's Cravings or something like that. That's kind of the one I use for inspiration. And then we have our veggies here. So it's totally set up for some nice salads and bowls and things for eggs. We have some lunches and dinners here, and this will be nice to make it easy for grab and go. Plus I have other some dinners that of course I'll be making throughout the week. So stay tuned for my way to eat this week video that'll be posted on Thursday and you'll see how I incorporate these meals and many more. So I will have everything linked down below and thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit subscribe if you're not already su subscribed to my channel. Click the thumbs up because it really does help my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Music